This is the village of Unterjoch in the Allgäu region of Germany. It's bang on the border with Austria, which is somewhere over there. I don't know how many, a couple of hundred meters maybe, is Austria. And I'm staying at the camping Jungholz, which is just inside Austria, which is up there. Today's the 30th of March and look how wonderful the weather is. It's now about 1600 and I'm feeling quite warm. But there's a little bit of a wind still. I'd say the temperature is about 18 degrees. This is the beginning of the Alps. It's where the Algoi meets the Tyrol. The mountain up there is called the Schrotschrofen and it's very peculiar because it's a place where four borders meet. That's two German and two Austrian. That's it. Austria is a exclave up there. It's the region of Jungholz. Why does it meet up there? It was because there was a border treaty in 1844 between Bavaria and the Habsburg Empire and this was further delineated on the 6th of December 1850 and the treaty declared that the borders meet at border mark 110 which is carved in stone at the summit of the mountain so they probably were looking at a map or something and didn't realise precisely where it was. Now, the borders were, shall we say, standardised uh, in the 19th century because there's lots of exclaves and enclaves and particularly within the Holy Roman Empire and so after the during the Holy Roman Empire, 1803 that was sort of sorted out and this one was sorted out uh, afterwards that's a popular place with hikers and this village is home to 350 people Can be imagined it's largely a place for agriculture and tourism and there's plenty of information it's all in German though This road goes to Tannheim, which is a place I'll be going to tomorrow. The reason I came here was because I met people at the Tour Natur trade fair in Dusseldorf in September from Tannheim, and I thought it would be a nice place to come. I've just stopped here and got myself some local cheese which is particularly good because the cows are on the pastures eating grass which then creates vitamin K2 which when you mix it with D3 will transport calcium to the proper place in your body.